Hey Rose, how's it going? Hey, hi. <laughs> I'm sitting out here in the beautiful Vancouver sunshine, Oppenheimer Park. Life just uh, asked me to kill play a song. I don't know if I can do it justice. I feel like I'm out of tune. Hope I'm not. It sounds a little. Anyway, I'll just talk while I'm. Yeah, I'm just playing it too, so. And you can do your test thing. Yeah. You know, this is a brand new song, eh? Are you recording? We're recording, yes. This is a brand new song. Uh, I wrote this with uh, Loretta Antoine and Frederick Johnny. Now, some of you may know my friend Loretta, and she's uh, involved in some some good things to uh, save the land. And uh, we seem to both be uh, drawn to things about water. So. Um, We phoned my uh, cousin, Jerry Alfred, some of you may also know. And uh, we asked him, what's the, the word for water in Northern Shoshone? Because I think, you know, you think, what does is, what is one thing have to do with the other? I'll just touch on that, it's language, it's culture. So you're talking about language, culture? Are all part of the land and, and they're all interconnected. All of this is connected, you know? At least once a day, I gotta get outside and touch the ground, or look at the sky, or do something, you know. And I can't explain why. It's just something I need. We all need it. Bottom line: what's going on? There's a lot going on in the country. A lot of change. A lot of resistance to change. The change is necessary. Without water, nothing survives. And we all know that. So unless you never ever use water. Then it doesn't concern you. Yeah, sugar that medicine, baby. That's all I say. I don't know. I'll try to do it justice. I've still yet to kind of find my my pace with this one, but I know how to do it on a drum. So I'll try to do it like how I do it on the drum. Nice, I'll just nice treat and my loud. guitar like a drum and try to uh, do this right. Okay, so. If I must explain, you won't understand. Chuhaya, Chuhaya, Hia. You light? Do I have a light? <laughs> you do, I shot your phone. Uh, right that here, side. Got it. How's your angle? Are you good? I'm really feeling good now. Okay, your angle's good on yeah, you? Yeah, it's really good. I got it. All right. Let's hope my fingers hold up. I my had a little bit of an injury a couple, I don't know, about a little over a year ago. And it really impacted my playing with my index finger. Oh, man. I hurt this part, you know. Really? It's, box of books I was transporting split and it just kind of grabbed my finger on the way down and there was just see one of those things where you just like it's like slow-mo right horrible you just watch it happen so I have uh, you know the, the uh, I use some uh, some cannabis and hash oil compound cool. on it. that wow. would help Boy. huge I swear it's the only reason I can do anything with it because I was dropping stuff and everything eh? it was really bad for a while Anyway, that was awesome. Okay, so yeah. this song, this song. What can 
my savings. Without water, you know, everything will just uh, die. Everything. And, you know, I asked my cousin, my clan, what's the uh, what word for water? Choo, he said. I said, choo. He said, yeah, choo. <laughs> I said, okay, choo it is. And then my other brother from another mother from the Crow clan, Pelly Crossing, said, do you know your word is heya. Apparently in Yukon uh, song keeping, everyone has a word. And then you get taught how to use that word. So I put the two together. And we came out as a drum song, so I'm just learning it as a guitar song, so if it's sloppy, I apologize, but it's all me. <laughs> and I'm just figuring out my pace, and this is not my pick, so hello. Do you have another song um, that you'd like to share that maybe uh, has inspired you? That something you've written that sort of brings about a sense of I don't know more. <laughs> maybe a favorite or something. I don't know. Ah, yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I want to keep it original, you know. That's what I mean. I'm thinking of the ones you've already sent to me. That's what I mean. Your stuff, because I love your stuff. Right? Can we 
be true Not lose you to me or me to you We want it both ways We want it all but we're too afraid to fall Too afraid to fall You gotta keep it real Something I could feel. Let's keep it real, honey. Don't want to leave you behind. Oh, are we just victims of a wrong? place and time Ooh, All I got is this song From your heart to mine Can we be true And not lose you to me or me to you We want it both ways We want it all but we're too afraid to fall Oh, we're too afraid to fall I'll oh, keep it real Oh, make me free That was great. Oh, man, I want to dedicate that. Well, that was oh, just a quickie, man. but you know, uh, I don't know. I always say to people, keep it real. You keep know? it real. Um, keep it real. I always say keep it real. There's so much uh, opinion and so much uh, politicizing and philosophizing and religious, religifying and all this other stuff and, 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 and trying to categorize and colonize and define and measure and control every little thing, you know? And, Wow, just keep it real. Um, I'm not sure where we lost the ability to stay in the moment or, or where we begin to regain that. I only know my own journey, you know. And I see a lot of people uh, waking up. You know, I recently attended a community event to help raise funds to, to make uh, a legal stand against what's going on in this country and what our governments are doing. And uh, I'm, I'm most proud to do that, you know, and contribute in my own little way and my limited scope. But I was sure proud to be there. And uh, when I saw the outrage of the community at large, not necessarily just the Indigenous community, but the community at large. And there was more non-Indigenous community at this event than, <laughs> you know. And, cool. and they are outraged. They can't believe that, that this is happening. So I, I see a lot of awakening happening. So everybody, hang Keep in there. Real, man. Change is coming.